Where am I? What happened? Oh, my brother, you were so close. I swear I will find you. Do I ask too much of her? Time again will tell. White peacock! What can it mean? What are those creatures that chase it? But see, Rangda has the soldiers under her spell. A fresh mortal at the gate? Greetings, little fly. Welcome to my web. Her shadow is long. 
You must defeat them, Raji. She cannot hear you, but she knows what to do. in my name. A magnificent city, a prosperous city filled with marvels. Delicate carvings and intricate mechanisms, mills powered by water, wheels that turn other wheels, that open gates and lift great weights. Jalasura. Demons of water, mechanical slaves to Ranga. Careful, my Raji. Avoid. in my temple, Durga? Of course. That gives her a chance. But the way is blocked. Look, the guardian waters are high. There are mechanisms to lower them. But what does she know of cocks and wings? She is clever, this girl. She will find a way.
legends of Hiranya. They are restless. Something is wrong. Radha has corrupted even the fish. It can be put right, Vishnu. It is why we are here. Father, they are up there in the stars, little brother. shall not stop me.
This is a place of cunning. The mills, the water that feeds the green fields. There is no denying it is... I am not scared of you. These people have no will. Their minds are clouded by Randa's shadow. And so the city was taken without any way to fight back. But they are alive, and so they can be free. It is the story of Garuda. There were two sisters, Kadru and Vinita, the most dear of wives of Maharshi Kashyap. He granted each a boon to show his affection. Kadru asked to become the mother of a thousand. Vinita, impatient and jealous, that her sister's eggs had already hatched, took it upon herself to break open one of her own eggs. Inside Vinita's egg was a half-formed bird-like creature. Enraged by his mother's actions, he cursed her, saying that she would be a slave to Kadru until her second egg hatched. Years passed until one day Vinita's second egg finally hatched. From it emerged Garuda, the king of birds. Seeing his mother's servitude, Garuda asked the Nagas to free her. They agreed, but on the condition that Garuda would fly to heaven and fetch for them the elixir of immortality. Garuda, for his mother's sake, flew to the heaven of the Devas. 
he was too powerful for the devas to defeat and so seized the elixir from them i saw that garuda did not want the elixir for himself and so i manifested myself to him because his heart was pure i granted him the gift of immortality in return he granted me the gift of becoming my mount so garuda returned to the nagas with the elixir but tricked them telling them that it could only be consumed after they had purified themselves in the holy river he attacked them unsuspect This is one of the mechanisms that will lower the guardian waters. Is it too much for her? Cogs and levers. This is no challenge compared to fighting demons. Dream. It is not enough. There is more to do. Another mechanism to fight. She must hurry. We do not want Ranga to notice until Raji is prepared.
must cleanse this, Durga. She must cleanse all of this. She will. And perhaps the tree will grant her another vision of the future. being want with Golu to instruct him to control him Raji did not know what I knew here lay our greatest peril